Welcome to the fascinating world of crayfish. Have you ever wondered about the life of a crayfish? These fascinating creatures can exhibit a range of colors from the common brown to vibrant blues and reds. Delving into the colorful world of crayfish, it's a spectacle to behold. Crayfish, also known as crawfish, mudbugs, or crawdads, are small crustaceans that live in fresh water. They have a hard exoskeleton, a pair of pincers, and a unique ability to move backward in water. Crayfish are found in various habitats like rivers, streams, ponds, and even in your local creek. They love to hide in rocks, logs, and underwater plants, creating a cozy home. Habitat, too, plays a significant role. Crayfish found in clear, unpolluted waters often showcase a wider range of colors compared to their counterparts in murkier environments. This is due to the greater availability of diverse food sources and the absence of pollutants that can dull their colors. Some crayfish can change their color to blend in with their environment, a process known as color morphing. This isn't a quick change though, it can take several molts for the color change to become apparent, but it's a testament to the crayfish's adaptability. Different regions even have unique names for these colorful critters like lobsters, crawdads, mudbugs, and yabbies. Crayfish are omnivores, meaning they eat both plants and small animals. Their diet includes algae, small fish, insects, and even decaying plants. Watch out for those pincers, they use them for defense and capturing food. So, whether it's a fiery red or a cool blue, the crayfish's color is just the first step into understanding these captivating crustaceans. Crayfish Life Cycle Eggs Female crayfish lay eggs, carrying them under their tails until they hatch. Juveniles Young crayfish called juveniles look like tiny versions of their parents. They grow by molting, shedding their exoskeleton to reveal a new, larger one. Adults As crayfish grow, they molt several times until adulthood. They can live for several years if they avoid predators. Crayfish are freshwater crustaceans that have adapted to a diverse range of environments making their homes in habitats that are as varied as their vibrant hues. They are found in nature's nooks and crannies, from the bubbling brooks that carve through the countryside to the gentle streams that meander through meadows. These hardy creatures also inhabit swamps, thriving in the quiet stillness where the water is calm and the vegetation lush. The murky depths of these wetlands provide crayfish with ample places to hide and a bounty of food to forage. In some parts of the world, Crayfish have also adapted to life in paddy fields. These man-made aquatic habitats, flooded with water for the cultivation of rice, provide a unique ecosystem where crayfish can flourish. Despite their adaptability, crayfish have a preference for unpolluted water. Clean, clear water is vital for their survival as it allows them to breathe through their feather-like gills and find their food. Most crayfish species are quite sensitive to water pollution, but there are some more resilient, that have adapted to survive in less than ideal conditions. These hardier species have developed mechanisms to cope with polluted environments, demonstrating the incredible resilience and adaptability of crayfish. Such adaptability is a testament to the crayfish's tenacity, demonstrating how these small creatures have mastered the art of survival in a variety of conditions. From the quiet stillness of a swamp to the rushing water of a mountain stream, Crayfish have adapted to a wide variety of habitats, making their homes where many other creatures cannot. Living in such diverse habitats, what do crayfish eat to survive? That's a question that might be swimming around in your mind. Well, the answer is as rich and varied as the environments these fascinating creatures call home. Crayfish, you see, aren't exactly fussy when it comes to their diet. They're what we call opportunistic omnivores. This means they're happy to munch on whatever they can get their claws on, be it animal, plant, or detritus. From the tender leaves of aquatic plants to tiny insects and even dead organic matter, crayfish aren't picky eaters. They're the ultimate scavengers, making the most out of whatever their environment provides. Now, where do they find their food? Most of it comes from the sediment-slash-water interface. That's the boundary where the water meets the soil or the sand. This area is a gold mine of nutrients, and crayfish use their delicate, feather-like gills to sift through the sediment in search of a meal. But it's not just about finding food. Digesting it is a whole other story. Crayfish have a complex digestive system designed to extract the maximum nutrients from their diverse diet. They're equipped with a unique feature, a peritrophic membrane, which wraps around their waste products it might sound a bit gross, but it's a highly efficient system that ensures these hardy creatures make the most of their meals. And here's a fun fact. Crayfish don't wander far from home to find their food. 
they have limited home ranges and typically rest, digest and eliminate waste in the same location each day. It's a simple life, but an effective one, allowing these creatures to thrive in a wide range of habitats. So what's on the menu for a crayfish? Well, pretty much anything they can find. From the smallest plant to the most elusive critter, crayfish are proof that variety is indeed the spice of life. It seems crayfish aren't picky eaters making the most of what their environment provides from the smallest plant to the most elusive critter. Ever wondered how crayfish grow? It's all thanks to a fascinating process called molting. In the world of crayfish, growing up isn't as simple as stretching out and getting taller. Instead, these intriguing creatures need to completely shed their old exoskeleton to make room for a new, larger one. This process, known as molting, is as fascinating as it is crucial for the crayfish's survival and growth. Now, you might be thinking, how does a crayfish manage to get out of its shell? Well, it's a bit like removing a tight-fitting shirt. The crayfish starts by absorbing some of the calcium from its old shell, softening it and making it easier to break. Then it gulps in water, swelling its body until the old shell cracks open, usually along the torso. Once the break is big enough, the crayfish wriggles its way out, leaving behind its old shell, a process that can take several hours. But the crayfish isn't home free just yet. You see, once it's shed its old shell, it's left with a soft new exoskeleton that's incredibly vulnerable. This is a crucial moment in the crayfish's life. It must hide and wait for its new shell to harden, a process that can take a few days. During this time, it's at its most susceptible to predators as it lacks its usual protective armor. Yet, despite the risks, molting is a necessary part of the crayfish's life cycle. Not only does it allow the crayfish to grow, but it also gives it a chance to regenerate lost limbs and repair damage to its shell. You could say it's nature's way of giving the crayfish a fresh start. So next time you see a crayfish, remember, that hard, protective shell you see is the result of a remarkable journey. A journey of growth, vulnerability and resilience, all thanks to the wonders of the molting process. Through the remarkable process of molting, crayfish continue to grow and adapt, shedding their past for a bigger and better future.